Today we have everything you need to know about the impressive long-range ammo type that the US Special Forces are testing out in a few different weapon systems. I'm talking about the mysterious 6.5mm Creedmoor round. Is this new ammo type going to help troops destroy the enemy or is it an expensive waste of tax money? Hello everyone, I'm Chris Cappy, welcome to Task and Purpose. There's a lot of debate about whether the 6.5 Creedmoor is finally the one round to rule them all. Is it that elusive, perfect, precision ammo that can be used in a sniper rifle, main battle rifle, an automatic machine gun all at the same time? SOCOM seems to think so. They're making moves to test out the 6.5 in all these different varieties. Again, just to be clear, this isn't big army, this is news about the elite units. In this video, I'll lay out what you need to know about the 6.5 Creedmoor round and the Special Forces plans for using it in the future. Also, it's important not to mix up the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 6.5 Grendel, so stick around to the end of the video for the differences between the two. After watching this video and finding out all the details, I'm confident we'll be able to have a civil debate that won't involve pointing out how hairy my gorilla arms are. I rolled up my sleeves to show them off. First of all, as with all ammo types, it's always going to compromise between size and performance, and this caliber is no exception. In this case, the 6.5 CM aims to have the advantages with its ballistics by flying on a flat trajectory, just like the 5.56 does but it also packs a harder punch like the 7.62. To put it another way, it has a 33% longer effective range. And this only applies if you're one of the best shooters in the world though. If you're like me with the 6.5 CM, it probably won't make much of a difference. Last time I qualified on my rifle in the army, they accidentally gave me six extra rounds of ammo and I still couldn't shoot expert. The 6.5 Creedmoor contains 30% more energy than the 7.62 at 1,000 meters. The Creedmoor also has a lower recoil than the 7.62, and since it's lighter weight, it gives the operator the ability to carry similar amount of ammo to the 5.56. The standard loadout for the 5.56 is 210 rounds, which weighs about 2.7 pounds, and that works out to 5.7 pounds if you're carrying the same amount of ammo in 7.62. That might not sound like a lot, but it starts to suck real fast after a few miles of hoofing it. So, where did this intermediate caliber come from? When I was researching this video, I was surprised to learn the 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge was created in 2007, and it got its name from the Creedmoor Farm in Queens, New York, about five minutes away from where I live. The farm held the first long-range NRA shooting competitions. It seems like the caliber quickly grew in popularity in the civilian population. As sniper rifles became cheaper and interest in long-range shooting competitions grew, the Creedmoor got more attention. One of the best quotes about the caliber comes from the professional long-range shooter named Ray Dog Sanchez, who said, quote, The round is boringly accurate at 1,000 yards. You know your ammo's good when the pro shooters say it's too easy. The 6.5 Creedmoor is an intermediate precision round between the 5.56 and the 7.62 that will allow SF operators to hit targets at further distances with less recoil than the 7.62 that they were using before. It would take another 10 years for the US military to notice the 6.5 Creedmoor and to start considering adding it to the team. It's exactly like how when I was the last kid chosen for the kickball team, even though I was obviously the best at bunting. Remember to like and subscribe to this video. It helps us a ton and it only barely hurts you a little. In 2017, SOCOM began testing their 7.62 M110 semi-automatic sniper rifle system. And they have the ability to rechamber the upper receivers now in the 6.5. These new uppers will be produced by the Knight's Armament Company. The M110 has a muzzle velocity of 783 meters per second. Without the 6.5, it's rated for a max effective range of 800 meters. The reason they made this switch was because during testing they found they were twice as likely to hit their targets at 1,000 meters out. Back in March of 2018, Special Forces units finished testing a new SCAR-H, which was also chambered in the 6.5, and they found the 6.5 CM outperformed the 7.62. There's some debate here about whether the Creedmoor cartridge would be effective for a main battle rifle in the military. Some experts say the 6.5 is a great choice if you're trying to hit targets past 600 meters, but if your engagements are within 300 meters, then it's actually better to stick with the original 5.56 NATO. According to slides from SOCOM's 2018 Unclassified Weapons Program update, they are working on a 6.5 assault machine gun. Already hear all of you keyboard warriors out there mad that I use the term assault machine gun. It's just a term. I know nobody likes it when I say assault rifle, but listen people, we need to take back that word. Assault rifle's our term. And when I talk about guns, I like to use it to describe them. So if you're pissed about some petty way I talk about these guns, too bad. Grab your keyboard and start firing away in the comments section. And remember to click the R button to reload. 
This would make sense since they're moving up from the 7.62 in the M240 Bravo weapon system to the larger 338 caliber machine gun. It could also be a test to see if they can consolidate ammo types to just the 338 Norma Magnum and the 6.5 Creedmoor. In case you're not familiar with the main roles in an army squad, in the army each squad has nine soldiers, two of them have the squad automatic weapon M249, which currently shoots 556. They also have two M240 Bravos in each platoon, and the rest are made up of M4s. So they're thinking about changing the M249 now to be chambered with the 6.5 Creedmoor, produced by FN America, and it's called the Mark 48 Mod 2 prototype. Prior to this, the Mark 48 series was a squad automatic weapon chambered in the 7.62. There were some complaints with that weapon because it overheated and was heavy to carry around on long patrols. One thing's for sure, these moves to update the M249 to the next generation squad automatic weapon into a 6.5 Creedmoor will only be for the special forces units within the army and will probably stay that way for a long time. I know a lot of people in the comment section are in love with the 6.5 Grendel and often offer up that we should be using that round instead. The Grendel is a very different type of ammo from the 6.5 Creedmoor and I just wanted to clear up the differences between them even if it's just for my own benefit. The difference between the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 6.5 Grendel is so different that comparing the two is almost meaningless because the 6.5 Grendel was developed from the smaller AR-15 frame which shoots the 5.56 and the 6.5 Creedmoor is developed for the larger AR-10, which shoots the 7.62 rounds. A lot of you are much smarter than me with this, so I wanna know what you think in the comments. Please let me know what do you think about SOCOM switching from the 7.62 NATO to the 6.5 Creedmoor for their sniper rifle and possibly for their squad automatic weapon and maybe even the main battle rifle. I'm Chris Cappy, thank you for watching. Task and Purpose out.